What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing the pros and cons of being a gamer. Let's get right into this. So for this pros and cons video today, I'm going to start off with the cons. So up first, the first con could be considered a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it, and that is late night gaming. Now for me right now, because I work night shift, on my days off, I tend to stay in the same routine, so I tend to stay up pretty late, either gaming or relaxing or watching Netflix, whatever I'm doing, but I tend to stay up pretty late regardless. Now, staying up late and doing late night gaming does, after a while, take its toll on you. Of course, if you can change that and just game during the day a little bit or just at night during the evening and go to bed at a reason reasonable hour, that is a little bit better for your body. But late night gaming is something that I still do on my days off because I still am in the same routine for me working night shift as much as I do. And I was doing a lot of late night gaming before I started my current job over a year ago. I was staying up pretty late, sometimes 3, 4, 5 in the morning, which for me at times is not a big deal, but it does start to take a toll on your body and on your health. Next for me is the biggest problem that I have when it comes to gaming, and it is the biggest con, and that is spending a lot of money on games or game equipment. So, of course, we know video games are expensive. Gaming in general is an expensive hobby, but anybody that is a true gamer knows of that, and they still want to purchase games and spend that money because they're having fun doing what they want to do, and that is gaming, which I can 100% relate with. But for me, because I have a pretty decent job right now, and I can spare a couple dollars to purchase new games whenever they're on sale or whenever the PlayStation Store is having a great deal on certain games, games that I've been looking at for a while, I tend to purchase them. And over the past, let's say, six months, I have been purchasing a lot of video games on my PS4. I've been playing a lot of video games, but I definitely have a lot of video games on backlog because of this. But because video games are so expensive, I try not to purchase as many video games these days. But I'm still purchasing quite a bit and it's more of an addiction for me. But as long as I play the games or plan on playing those video games, that's why I purchase them. And anything that I purchase from the PlayStation Store or if I go into a store to buy a game, it's usually on a ridiculous sale. Nothing more than $20 usually. Or if it's a new game, something that I'm really excited for, the max, whenever it's on 50% off for me is about $40. So to me, that's not too much. But gaming is an expensive hobby and it's one of the biggest cons in my opinion. And the last con on this list is having too many games to play. And once you start to add more and more games to your list, your backlog seems to fill up and then you have way too many games and it's hard to finish all of those games. I can 100% relate to this because over the years I have been just purchasing games or getting games for free for the PS Plus and just not playing them or trying them and just not finishing them. So even though I am purchasing more and more games from the PlayStation Store whenever they're on sale and adding a lot of games to my backlog, recently I've been cleaning up a lot of my backlog, going through and trying to start to finish, play the campaign of games and play the games up to the point that I'm okay not touching the game again. So that is for me completing the campaign then looking at the trophy list and seeing what else I can get for trophies and kind of polish off some of the trophies. And then at that point, if I feel like I've finished the game to the where I'm okay and I feel safe not playing it anymore, at that time, that's whenever I say I've finished the game. So I've been clearing up a lot of my backlog on video games. Of course, my videos that I keep making for games recently played and finished, I'm going to continue that series. And that is more of a motivation for me to help clear up my backlog because I have a lot of games on backlog right now. I think right now I have over 10 to 15 games on backlog. And I keep saying that I want to purchase PlayStation Now, but that's just going to add a lot more games to my backlog. So until I clear up a lot of my backlog, I'm not going to get PlayStation Now because already I have way too many games and it's hard for me to finish them all. Now for the pros of being a gamer. 
Up first is making friends in the gaming community. Of course, you guys know my best friend, Jack. I actually met him while playing at WWE 2K13, I believe. I've known him for well over five years now. We've been gaming for years and I actually plan on going to his graduation later this year. So I'm pretty excited for that, to meet him in person for the first time and to attend his graduation from college. So I'm pretty amped for that. But like I said, being able to go and make friends in the gaming community and having long-term friends, friends for life, that's actually a real thing. And that's a lot of things that People that are not in the gaming community, people that don't game, usually don't understand whenever you have an online friend and you consider them your best friend or a really close friend and you've never actually met them, they just don't understand what you're talking about. But for me, it is a real thing. The next pro is having fun on your free time. I do juggle with my gaming, my social life, errands, everything that I have to do at home and also my work life. And just to have a couple hours every day just to relax on my free time and play video games for me is a lot of fun. And that's what I look forward to each day the most. It's just nice to sit back, relax, and play a couple video games. And like I've already mentioned in this video, clear up some of my backlog and try to look at other games that I want to purchase in the future. And the last pro for me for being a gamer is getting to experience different lives. Yes, I know everybody that doesn't game doesn't really understand and can't really relate to this, but the reason that gamers purchase so many different games just like I do is just because they get to experience different things in different video games. So in different sports games, you can go and you can actually be a pro sports athlete. In racing games, you get to be a race car driver and different things like that. So it is a lot of fun having to play different genres of video games and getting the chance to play all the different video games that us gamers get to play because we have a lot of different experiences and get to experience different lives throughout each different video game. For me, that's what gaming is about, just to gather all of the experiences, having fun while doing it, and getting to meet great people along the way. So for me, these are the pros and cons of being a gamer. And since I am such a heavy gamer, in my opinion, I definitely think the pros outweigh the cons. Because if it wasn't for gaming, I definitely would not have met my best friend Jack. And I have definitely had a lot of fun over the past few years playing video games and being a gamer and being part of this community. So comment down below your pros and cons of being a gamer or any that I may have missed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it here. Please take care. Peace.